What is up everyone? Today we are talking about the Insta 361 X. Is it the best 360 camera out there? So full disclosure, Insta360 did send me a camera for free, but I am not being paid by them and I get to give a completely honest review. So for the last couple weeks, I've been shooting on this 360 camera and wanted to talk about the pros and cons, the features that I really liked and some of the features that I didn't like and share them with you guys. So just getting into the specs right away, what can this baby do? Uh, so it boasts a 5.7K uh, video resolution, shoots 18 megapixel photos, it's got flow state stabilization, and obviously shoots 360, does slow motion at 100 frames per second, HDR video. Uh, it's got this invisible selfie stick, so when you are shooting this and you've got your selfie stick, the stick is invisible, which is really cool. I do like that. It easily creates hyperlapses and time lapses. It's really simple to use. It uh, actually only has two buttons on here, which, which makes it really easy to use. And lastly, everything can be edited on your phone and Wi-Fi transferred or uploaded to your computer. It also has editing software that you can download on your computer to edit on the computer as well. Although I haven't really messed around with that too much. It's mostly just been editing on my phone, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So jumping into the things that I like, and I really do like a lot of what this camera has to offer. When shooting video, it has some really cool perspectives. You can have this mini globe, which uh, is gonna kind of blow anybody's mind that's looking at it. Like, how did you get this shot? So because you are shooting with two lenses at the same time, it allows you to choose from multiple angles. You just stick the camera in front of you and in post later, you can choose from whichever angle you want. So this means I don't have to worry about always having the perfect angle or having the camera in the right spot to find that that perfect angle. I can just stick the this camera right in front of me on the selfie stick wherever and just find the angle that I want in, in post when I'm editing right on the phone, which is really cool. And speaking of editing, editing on my phone has been what I have loved the most. It's been actually so much fun just messing around, finding the different angles. You can track and, uh, and follow just different points or subjects. So you can actually track and pinpoint if there's a person that you wanna follow on the phone. It's super easy. And the other feature that I, I love is that it's almost like a VR experience with your phone where I can choose just by shifting my phone which angle I want, which is not only really fun, but also amazing that you can do. All of this is just kind of packaged into, into a phone app. Another feature that I really liked about the Insta360 ONE X is that it creates the easiest hyperlapses and time lapses. I don't have to spend tons of time just taking photos step by step to create an effective hyperlapse. I can do it all just on this tiny camera and editing it on my phone. So it's, it's a really cool feature that saves so much time, makes it super simple. Anybody can do it. And uh, I find, yeah, it's just really effective to, to create that kind of effect. Lastly, the other thing I really like, which I mentioned before, is that it has this invisible selfie stick. And so one of the things that I wasn't a huge fan of when shooting on a GoPro is that when I had the selfie stick out there, it would capture the, the whole stick. And I, I just found that it looked kind of cheesy and unprofessional. But with this, it creates this really cool shot and uh, completely takes out the selfie stick. And it's not, you know, some kind of magical editing software that they've got built in. It's just that the the selfie stick is directly below both cameras and so they just don't capture that part of uh, in the frame but still I, I think it's really cool it allows you to get these shots where you're not really sure how the person got it because that selfie stick is invisible so again it just can kind of wow the audience or make the audience wonder like how did you get that shot which i think is always a great thing but the things that i do like there are always the things that i don't necessarily like 
And so with that comes the resolution. Now it does boast a 5.7K resolution, but that's for the entire um, 360 frame. And when you crop in, when you're shooting on a 16 by nine, uh, you're, you are cropping in and so it, it takes away some of that resolution when you are cropping in like that. So it's not a true 5.7K resolution that you're gonna be exporting to your computer or, or editing on, on your software. And so with that, uh, something like GoPro that's shooting you know, 4K, the GoPro might have a little bit better resolution. So again, it's, it's not a, a true 5.7K and there's times where um, it's just not as sharp as maybe I would like it to be. So secondly, the battery life isn't the greatest. Uh, it only has a 60 minute recording time for the battery. So it's not something that I can just go out and shoot with all day. I gotta have multiple batteries and, and that can be a pain. So battery life was definitely something that I thought could be improved in the future. Uh, thirdly, it's not waterproof, so that means it requires a case. So this case I found to be just a little bit bulky and so it required some extra room in my bag. But uh, again, it, not too big of an issue, but again, it's, it's just a little bit bulky and, and anything that's gonna you know cut down on space I love so the GoPro Hero 7 or something like that uh, is great because it's it's water resistant, waterproof, and so you you don't have to get an additional case when you're gonna go snorkeling or diving, jumping off cliffs, whatever <laughs> it is. So with something like a GoPro that is just automatically waterproof, you don't need that extra case, which I find is is super helpful. And uh, yeah, again, just really cuts down on, on space. Secondly, with this case, when I was uh, shooting on it, I found that the camera would still kind of pick up the bottom of the case. And so I wasn't really able to, to view everything. I had to make sure that I was just focusing on or you know, just focusing on the views when editing, just coming out of each side of the camera. So I couldn't really get the whole experience like I could just shooting with this out of water. I really liked being able to see the full 360 effect uh, when just shooting with this. But when I put the case on, you kind of lost some of the angles. Again, got some really cool footage with it, but if, if there is some kind of way to, to get rid of getting that, um, that bottom out, that would be, that'd be great. Slimmer case, I don't know. But again, just something that, that I found uh, as a con. The last con that I had for this was, again, not, not too big of a con, but the audio coming from this isn't really the greatest, but I'm never going to be relying on something like this for my main source of audio anyways. I'm always gonna use an external mic and the, the shots that I do use from this aren't going to require audio. I would just use just a couple select clips, uh, really cool shots from this. So again, audio isn't the greatest, but it's not really gonna affect my workflow or affect the experience that I have shooting with the Insta360 ONE X. So it's a con, but again, isn't gonna really weigh into to too much. Overall, my opinion of this camera, I've had a lot of fun shooting on this and I'm going to enjoy continuing shooting on this, getting those clips for YouTube and Instagram and also having those hyperlapses. I think I'll be using this for a lot of different hyperlapses and time lapses just because it's so easy to create them on this camera editing on your phone. I would recommend it to people that are looking to get something that'll stand out, that will create unique angles unique perspectives, something that's gonna wow people or make people say like, how did you get that shot? Again, it's not something that I would use for a production or you know, paid shoot, but tons of fun, really enjoyed shooting on it and really excited to continue putting out some new content with the Insta360 ONE X. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you've used this camera, if you're looking to use this camera, what your thoughts are on the footage that you've seen that I've shared with you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help and make a difference. And I will see you on the next video.